I'm here with inventor Wyatt White. And Wyatt, you have a great idea for an adjustable bangle. Yeah, it's very, it's pretty easy to make and you can do all different types, types of things to make accoutrements for it and, and change the way you do it and use different materials. Nice, well how do we get started? Well, we get started by using uh, the, the jig that's in the round and I put a single peg on the outside uh, group of, of, of holes and then the second peg goes in one, one group here and I always count one, two, three, four, five for about a medium. Okay. You, can, you can back it off to make a smaller bangle if you'd like, or you can move it on to make an even bigger one. Okay. And today we're gonna to be using um, the uh, hexagonal wire. So this wire has six sides. Uh, it starts out as round wire, and then they make it into the six side, and that helps to give it a little bit more um, tensile strength. So it, it it's looks little, pretty shiny too. Is that part of the? Well, I think I think when they when they make it into the the hexagonal, it goes through a series of dies, and that compresses the metal mm. um, to make it have those faces, and it does have a nice shine to it. Nice. You can also twist it a little bit at the ends where we're going to oh, twist cool. it. You can see a little bit of a spiral. So we're just going to take this wire, and use it on the. Um, jig and we're going to wrap it. This is going to go away from me and you want to make it to where this loop is open Okay. instead of closed. Normally you would want to make it closed but for our purposes because we're going we're gonna to do something else to it in just a few minutes I will show you why we want that done. Then this goes right next to it and wraps around this in the opposite direction that, that the first one was Again, done. Again toward the outside. Towards, uh, yeah, towards away from you when you're looking at it. Then you take your flush cutters and you cut one quarter of the loop off. So it's if you were looking at it like a clock, it's at six o'clock, that's where you cut it. Okay. And then flip this around and do the exact same thing there. Those are gonna be the loops that uh, cause the, the bangle bracelet to be adjustable. Nice. So then we're gonna pull the little holder off the inside and then pull this out and that's gonna spring open. It springs open because of that tensile that we talked about earlier. Mm -hmm. Then you just loop this onto here, and I like to shape this right away. So this drum helps you to make this the proper size or close to the proper size for most people's wrists. You can use a smaller one for a smaller wrist and a larger one for a larger wrist. So now we've got these loops and they're sticking up, and now is when we come with a, a little annoying drill. <laughs> it's actually a battery-operated bead reamer. When I use that, I always put my glasses on. Yeah, it's, you know? uh, well, I have my glasses on here. I mean these. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I call my big boy glasses. Right. I keep forgetting that I have them on today. <laughs> um, so we're gonna just pop these on, and I've got a light in my pocket here and you just turn it on and that gives you some great light and oh yeah, wow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so just kind of go around and you'll see that it starts to form a ball at the end of the wire, which is really a nice finish. And of course, this is a copper based wire so you're gonna have a little copper ball. Little mm -hmm. But now there's no sharp edge, which is the goal right. um, of, of any kind of wire well, wrap product. Well, and it product. saves you time from filing. Absolutely. And filing, you usually end up scarring the wire. <laughs> right. Well, if you're me, you scar the wire. Me too. And, and after just a little while, you've got a nice rounded end. And now we can continue to form uh, these loops that have a, an important function and that's to um, create the nice flexibility. All right, so this is sticking up, so all you have to do is go down into the neck of the chain nose portion of the pliers and squeeze it down. Okay. And flip over and do the exact same thing here. And now, it's, now comes the tricky part. You just grasp across here and then bend straight up. And then take from here and twist, I'm gonna twist my wrist away from myself, and that's gonna bring that, so you had it, you had it here, you went up, and then you went down. And here, I don't know if you can see, but there's a little twist, and you get to see a nice little um, twisting of that, of those I wires. See it. Yeah, it looks good. And you're gonna do the exact same thing on this side. Grasp this, bend up, 
and then twist away from you. Nice. That loops into here and you just squeeze from the inside. This way, I don't like to squeeze with the end of the, the pliers on, the for, on, on a large gauge wire mm -hmm. because you can slip and scar the wire. Okay. So I just do it down into the, into the neck of the pliers and that way there's no slippage. Okay. So it really helps. Now, you can either attach this now or you can wait. We're gonna put a little bobble on it, so I'm gonna wait to attach that. Okay, you probably so, don't need your light for the next step. Right, right. <laughs> I can turn the light off. And actually, um, because I'm gonna be farther away and I can see a little bit better, I can put my other glasses back on. All right. So now we're going to add some texture to this. Sounds good. So we're gonna add it with some of this stringing material and we're going to use a fabulous tool that my dear friend Katie has invented. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, it has foam so that if you have beads on your work surface, you can put that in there and hold it. Uh, it comes with this that, that normally you would squeeze this down and put it onto your work surface. Uh, but because we've got a thicker work surface, we're going to use a tacky mat. Okay. So you just stick this down and then this goes onto the inside just like so. And it sort of acts like, you know, an, an, an extra hand to hold it. Um, right, I got really tired of putting it between my knees to tie macrame onto yeah. things. Yeah, well it's brilliant and, and your macrame has helped our, <laughs> our jewelry portion a lot. So Good. now I'm just gonna pull some of this out. Uh, about three, four feet, whatever you're comfortable with. And then we're gonna tie an overhand knot. like so nice and tight and then with this side we're going to make a loop and it's good to get that down there so we can pull it through so it's a loop over the top then bring this under the wire and pull it up through and i believe there's a a name for that little knot but i don't know what it is it's you a can, half hitch oh perfect a half hitch yeah some macrame experience there i would have i would imagine you know um, my mom taught me my First book is about hemp jewelry, so ah. me and macrame go way back. Awesome. So I think at some point you just turn this around, um, pull this back through, and then keep going. Yeah, you just keep going and it, it's going to keep on spiraling around. But you could also do a square knot, you could do a braid, there's mm -hmm. all kinds of macrame that you could do here. This is such a popular look, uh, we've been seeing a ton of cording yeah. mixed with metal. You could also use metal to do this. You would need a very thin gauge, um, which would be really fun and interesting to do. Um, maybe the future. Yeah, you uh, could do it with beading wire too. Mm -hmm. Nice. But you can see that the wonderful uh, knot just appears each time you tie it and it, it just stacks itself and does a nice spiral. You could be adding beads as you go. Yeah. Um, there's just a ton of different ways you can do this. Yeah, and on some of these bracelets over here, you went over both wires with a different type of knot. Yes. And then it looks like at the end, you just can add a bead and knot it off, and then you're good to go. Right. Um, with, with what we're doing here, you could just add a bead to this one and then tie a knot, and that finishes it off. Or you could glue it and cut it. Uh, it's just completely up to you. Cute. All right, and then you also have an idea for a beaded dangle, right? Yes, definitely. So to add the beaded dangle to this, um, assume that you're gonna go as far as you'd like here, as long as it doesn't get into um, the mechanism of this um, opening and closing. So like this one has macrame on both wires. Right. So it's only gonna go this big. Correct. Or you could do it on this portion. Exactly. And then it would be more adjustable. Right. Okay. And because this is, is a, a stringing material, what you could do is you could, instead of cutting off a quarter of it, make a more of a fuller loop, and then some of that could actually go through. Oh. So you could make it more dangling, if, if you like, for the moving portion to right. have some stuff on it. Right, okay. Yeah. So it's, you know, it, it's, it's limitless on what you can do once you figure out how to do it. All right, so we're back here. I'll just let that hold right there. Then we're gonna take a piece of this 20 gauge round wire. Now you can use any gauge wire that you want. And the only thing that, that makes you have to change it would be the hole of the bead. Okay. So we're just using a, a, a great um, Swarovski bead. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a little spiral at the end. I love doing this. Um, 
and it's going to be sort of like a, a, a head pin, only it's going to be a, a spiraled head pin. So I just fold the wire back on itself and then snip about half of what I folded there. And then you grasp in the side here uh, so you can get more pressure on it and just squeeze and twist, squeeze and twist. And notice I'm, I'm twisting on the horizontal so that this just, the wire just wraps up. And then I'm gonna grasp it nice and tight and then pull this back so that we've got it centered. Looks good. Yeah, so you got a little spiral, which is always fun at the bottom. And then we're gonna put the bead on, come down the neck of the chain nose, or the round nose pliers enough to have enough room to have it move. Make the, the loop on the center, just like that. Move this to here, grasp it, and wrap it around. Cut. Perfect. And insert. Thank you so much, Wyatt. You're this welcome. This is awesome. So you're just gonna hook it on your bracelet. Just gonna bracelet. hook it on and then just hook that into the bracelet and close it like we did before. Oh, you're good to go. Thank you so much. You're welcome.